Hi. In this tutorial, what I want to show you is why the transformation y equals f of ax stretches any graph of the form y equals f of x by a scale factor of 1 divided by a, parallel to the x-axis. And in order to do that, what I've done is I've just taken any general graph of the form y equals f of x, and I've just drawn one here. I've got a table of the x values and the corresponding y values. As you can see, when x is 4, f of 4 is 3. The y value that corresponds to x is 4 is 3. And similarly, if I took, say, minus 2, when x was minus 2, f of minus 2 is 1. You can see, when x is minus 2, the corresponding y value is 1. Now that we've got this table of values, let's look at another table for another graph. The graph of y equals f of 2x. So, if we were to take, say, x is 4, I would be looking at f of 2 times 4. In other words, f of 8. And I can't do that because f of 8 is not a value in this table or on this graph. But what if I went back to say x is 1? If x was 1, then I'd be looking at 2 times 1, which is 2, f of 2. So we've got the value of f of 2 when x is 1. And what was f of 2? It was this point here, 0. So we'll put that in a 0. And if I was to plot this coordinate, when x is 1, the corresponding y value is 0, I'd have this point here. So notice how this point is now here. It was two units out from the y-axis, and now it's one unit away. Let's take another point. Let's take a point on the left-hand side of the y-axis. Let's say we take x is minus 2. If x is minus 2, you're doing 2 times minus 2. So you've got f of minus 4. Now, what is f of minus 4? Well, when x was minus 4, the y value was minus 4. Or you can get it from the table here. f of minus 4 is minus 4. But what we've got is the coordinate minus 2, minus 4. Minus 2, minus 4 is this point. And again, notice that this point here was 4 units to the left of the y-axis, but now we've halved that displacement. Instead of it being 4 units away, it is now 2 units away. So it seems as if points on this side of the y-axis are halved. Their displacement away from the y-axis is halved. So a point like this point should end up being, instead of four units out, just two units away, like that. A point that is three units away is now going to be one and a half units away, something like that. Points on this side are going to be half their displacement. So if I had a point like this minus three, it's three units out to the left, so it's going to be halved. It's going to be there, and so on. And if we look at a point on the y-axis, like this point here, when x is 0, what we've got is f of 2 times 0, which is 0, f of 0. And f of 0, you can see, was this point here, minus 1. It turns out that it never shifts, so it remains invariant. Points on the y-axis always remain the same. Well, if you were to work out all these values anyway, okay, you'd have a table of values something like this. And if you were to plot those points, you'd get a series of points like this. And join them up, you've got your curve. A curve that is now squashed in, if you like, squashed in from the right-hand side and the left-hand side, and any point on the y-axis remains invariant. And this, then, is the graph 
of y equals f of 2x. My a value was 2, so it is a stretch of scale factor 1 over 2, scale factor a half in other words, parallel to the x-axis. So I hope you got that All right. Let's have a look at another one, this time where the a value is a fraction. Like for instance in this table we're looking at y equals f of a half x. And if we look at these values, let's start with say x equals 4. If x equals 4, we've got half of 4 which is 2. So we've got f of 2 at this point. And what was f of 2? Well from the red graph of f of x, f of 2, you can see was 0. So that equals 0. Now if we plot that point, we've got 4, 0. So it's there. Okay? So, let's take another point. Now what about looking at, say, x equals 3? When x equals 3, we have f of half of 3, f of 1 and a half. Okay? Now the problem with f of 1 and a half, it's not a value that's in this table. But we can find out what f of 1 and a half is, well, approximately anyway, just by looking at the graph, the red graph, y equals f of x. So when x is 1 and a half, can you see that the corresponding y value looks to be something like minus a half? Well, we'll say it's minus a half anyway, and we'll put that in as minus a half. So we need to plot this coordinate, 3 minus a half. So we go along to 3, down by minus a half, and it's a point that's there. Can you notice that this point, which was one and a half units out, has now been doubled, and it goes to three? Okay, so what other points can we look at? Point on the y-axis, when x is naught. When x is naught, half of naught is naught, so that's going to be f of naught. f of naught retains the same value as it had before, minus one. 0 minus 1 is this point, it remains at the same point, invariant. One more point, let's take x is minus 3. This will be minus half of, minus, sorry, it'll be half of minus 3, which is minus 1 and a half. So we've got f of minus 1 and a half. And what's that going to be? Well, f of minus one and a half, if we go to there, is about there-ish. Very difficult to know what that value is. Maybe it's just, say, half a unit, okay, up. So we'll just say that's half a unit. Only this time, we plot that value at minus three, and then go up half a unit. And if we were to fill in all the other values in this table, that's what we would get. And if we plot those points, that's what we get now. And the corresponding curve is that. What's happening is that all the points are pulled out by a factor of 2 from the y-axis. And if they're on the y-axis, they stay put. They remain invariant. So this is the graph of y equals f of a half x. The a value is a half. So the scale factor is 1 divided by half, which is 2. So this represents a stretch of scale factor 2 parallel to the x-axis. All the points are pulled out away from the y-axis then by a factor of 2, both to the right and both to the left. OK, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you've been able to follow this idea.